This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB. Today, in the arena, one of my faves, Demir Control. This one, no Yorian. That's right, as I uncovered in my evil strategy to play more control decks in the decks that I like, since many of you really think that Yorian is the defining thing about the deck, since it's such a trigger for you, we can play the exact same deck without Yorian and maybe slim it down to 60 cards, because that's still a good practice to get into. And uh, I get to play basically a, a similar deck to what I've played before. So if I were going to build a deck in the Demir Control Colors with absolutely no Yorian nonsense, this is what I would build. It doesn't have a lot of Strixhaven cards, but it's still a very competitive deck that can hang with a lot of the aggression of the format, the Winotas of the format, while also like not being unwinnable against Sultai. Now, uh, I, I feel bad because the Sultai version that I put out recently has mystical disputes and comas, which give the deck a really hard time. But I still think the matchup with Yorian is very, very winnable. And we have a nice combination of cards to keep the control decks really on their toes, but they're also useful against the other decks in the format. You just never know where some of these cards are really going to matter. So that's why you get numbers like ones and twos. We've got four Saw Cummings, always pretty strong. We've got one Mystical Dispute, one Disdainful Stroke, one Essence Scatter, one Negate, one Test of Talents, one Agonizing Remorse. Uh, those of the keen eye know I've been using this like barrage of nine counter spells for a while now using ones of all these and then fours of this and it really is the fact uh there's two two reasons number one every deck is going to have at least a yorian so your essence scatter is never going to be dead almost every deck has a four drop whether it's a winota into the story um the yorian or all the other four drops plus in that deck the only one that is kind of an exception is mono white but even they sometimes have the legion angel so everything has at least one target for these but not everybody has a lot of targets tested talents this is one that not everybody has a talent a target for but where it is good it's really good so we risk it. We risk it for the proverbial biscuit. Agonizing Remorse is one I don't usually run, but I wanted a way to get into the opponent's hand, blow up their setup, and see what they're working with. And Agonizing Remorse does that job very, very well. Again, just a one of though. I don't want to be losing life and losing tempo very often in this format. Winota will kill you for that. Just, they'll just, their creatures just kill you. They don't even know, need Winota. They just run you over with their creatures if you're spending your turn. Oh, I'll make you discard a card and I'll lose a life. Haha, <laughs> not not great. Uh, so, card draw. Four copies of Maze Mind Tome. The life is really important to this deck. The ability to scry because you have a lot of dead draws in various matchups. So you scry pretty often with this instead of waiting to draw cards. You just kind of scry it till it's gone because you don't want to draw Agonizing Remorse where it's bad. You don't want to draw Test of Talents where it's bad. You don't want to draw Sweepers in a matchup where they don't matter. So just scry, scry, scry. Draw when you can, but... Do what you got to do with the tome. Keep it coming. Then we have two copies of Behold the Multiverse. I had four. It got trimmed back in favor of tome. Why? People keep running this card, Test of Talents. And if you get your card advantage, your main card advantage source in the deck, Test of Talented, it's a big cringe. So we go with tome over Behold because people run this card and it's thick. You don't want to lose a matchup that way. Also, for that reason, be careful with your Saw Cummings. Try to get them foretold. Try to make them the last counter that you play. Don't don't run them into a test of talents. Uh, pick your spots, because we have four of them, and we have one of everything else, so talents can't hurt us too badly the rest of the way. A few cheap removal spells. The Sweepers are, of course, for aggro. Ashiok and the Shark Typhoon are the win cons. It is a beautiful deck. It also has a Field of Ruin for the occasional Faceless Haven and a Crawling Barons as the occasional win con with two Castle Vantress to help you stack your deck and put it in just the order you need to find them. So, uh, a, a lovely Sweet 60 Demir Control Pile. I'm going to really enjoy it. Let's do a shout out before we dive in to the people who joined and became YouTube members since the last time I did the member shout out. So thank you very much to Jason, Josh, Dennis, Q Delati, Maximus, Mike, Vaklav, 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 John Ball, and 
Aisha, thank you very much to you guys for hitting the join button below and supporting the channel. It means a lot to me and I appreciate you greatly. Let's see if the store has a cosmetic, a sweet one that we can dedicate to your awesomeness in your honor in the daily deals. There is, well, nothing we don't already have. Cringe. I have one more command bundle. You know what? You guys are worth it. We're going to buy the command bundle in your honor. Now when I play Historic, my commands will be sexy, and it will be because of you. I've got some Historic Brawl to play. I can probably get some commands into some of those decks. Oh yeah, let's go. Let the nonsense begin. Uh, on the play, we're in the Yorian matchup, which is kind of what we want. We don't want this verdict, though. But I guess I'll keep the agonizing remorse. Like one good card versus one terrible card, one dead card. Six card hand. Opponent takes a mulligan. They might think we're aggro. There's no companion. Cling to dust. A little bit of card advantage. That could be nice. So what do you think? Do we get right in there? Yeah. Let's see what's cooking. Oh, yay. Another control deck. All right. <clears throat> well, that'll be rough. How's their hand versus ours? A little bit worse. The Heartless Axe. We've got Crawling Barons, which is pretty good. I think we take their card advantage card. And they have Yorian, so they overall have a larger deck, more resources. They have the Biblioplex, which is a, it's a funky one. I think I'm cycling this, actually. The card advantage is going to matter a lot. Would you like to cycle your Shark Typhoon? If they run the Biblioplex, they probably also have a Crawling Baron somewhere. <clears throat> so unless they really start activating this, we want to hold on to the Field of Ruin. Might just get the Barons rolling. Of course, we gotta watch out for the double Heartless Act, but they don't have the mana for it yet. Do we just charge this up? I don't think so. Book of Tome. Okay. See if that produces enough jealousy to get a counter spell from the opponent. Oh, you make a shark, I make a shark. You want to go shark to shark. Okay. Um, let's do this. Who knows what we'll hit. <laughs> it might have been something to remove it, but no, it's another sweeper. Our hand is uh, quickly turning into fodder. Not good. But we've got a tome out. The matchmaker's fine, guys. Everybody plays Demir Control in this meta. I, I haven't seen it in weeks. Or somebody's gonna look at my video and be like, you saw it on day such and such. Okay, fine. I've probably seen it somewhere, but let's just let's just say the odds of playing against it the second you sleeve up Demir Control. Come on now. All right, the opponent's on seven. They can Biblioplex. We also saw there was no stick when our tome resolved, so they haven't found a counter spell yet. A lot of removal in this hand. All right, they go down to six. Let's draw some cards of our own. Ah, a counterspell. What sorcery is this? Um, mm, I'm not. I don't want to blow up the biblioplex or the castle. I want to save it for a barons. Nice auto tapper, basically revealing we don't have counterspells, but it might get them to walk into a negate. Ah, 
I don't like just charging up the barons and going for it. The eliminates are just... Like, they're not out of the meta, you know what I mean? I think we've got to do better. Now, unfortunately, I already spent my agonizing remorse, which is kind of how I sneak into their hand. Get a look at what they're working with. Could go for a Shark Typhoon backed by Negate here. They might have no way to remove it. They had no counterspell a few turns ago. If we lose that fight, do we lose the game? I don't think so. All right, I'm shooting my shot. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> I would not say this is typically how it all goes. Um, hmm. They let that resolve. And now they want to do that. We could make a 4-4 shark here. I think we negate, though. I think we fight. Yeah, if you were going to divide it, you've got to do it with that on the stack, right? So the shark doesn't show up. Now let's see if they untap and play their own typhoon for a, a proper shark off. Get your shark token at coolstuffinc.com. Promo code CGB5. Omen. Yeah, their 80 card deck served them up a draw that was pretty rough for the matchup. What can you say? Those Yorian haters out there are gonna be like, See? This is why you don't play the Yorian. Look, man, I play the Yorian because I like the Yorian. I don't, I don't need your okay with that. So, let's see, next turn this goes off. We discard something. When we discard something, we can flash back a cling. Let's go ahead and tap you and you. And play another U. The opponent can go for the Yorian. We're going to have to find a counter spell if they do. Or try to, at least. It's pretty, pretty annoying. Yorian versus not Yorian. Yorian versus Shark Typhoon. That's what we're up to. Which extinction event would you like to be cast on your Sky Noodle? I've drawn all three. All right, they pick Shadow's Verdict. I'd have probably picked the Cling to Dust just to get it exiled as well. Here's Yorian. Let's see if we can locate or counter spell for it. And make a 4-4. Saw it coming, and we have the man to cast it. Cool. Means we're gonna miss out on this cling. Or no, I have another turn cycle before it gets exiled. We don't necessarily miss out. All right, superior blue black confirmed. Not Yorian beats Yorian. I vow. I vow is going first and my hand is pretty bad against aggro. It's a bit slow, but it won't die. I mean, it might die to double fervent champion. All right. All right. This is mono black. Hey, this deck I like to dunk on as I'm always glad it's this and not rogues. Snow black, black snow. It's a good word for it. What's a good, what's a good name for the black snow deck? I mean, I've seen black auras. Gross. That is the card that will probably beat us if this game goes badly. I will foretell this saw it coming. We would need to draw a solution to the Haven. Hey, it's your turn. Yep, here comes the aggro. It always gets a lot of damage in, doesn't it? So let's represent the counter spell. Say go. See if they power up that Haven as our fortuitous Heartless Act top deck really makes us want to hit that Haven. Uh-huh. Yeah, you love me. Uh-huh. I bet you do. I don't think there's anything they're going to resolve post-combat that I'm worried about. So let's just make a shark.
Now you gotta kill this. If you wanna keep your idol on. Complete with murderous rider, wow. Okay. Shut me down. No island on the battlefield. Gotta keep that in mind. So now we'll see if they redevelop their battlefield or attack with the Haven. Attacking with the Haven's a little bit of a trap. Well, now that they have two, it isn't. <laughs> now that they have two, it's just the right play. Okay. I'm going to not foretell because I want to be... I guess if they power this up, they can't... Mm. If they power this up, they can't cast something else. So I may as well foretell something. Actually, I may as well just hit their hand, right? What's more important here? I guess their resources are more important. Wow, Haven City. Okay, then. We got their Luris. That's nice. We're going to have to get this Ashiok down, and it's going to have to make blockers. Our opponent drew three Faceless Havens in the matchup where they're the best. We drew one Heartless Act in the matchup where we sorely needed it. Let them get into combat so they can't use mana to cast the Murderous Rider. Ashiok! It's on you, buddy. Make some sweet 2-3s and block these suckers. Nice top deck. Nice top deck. Looks like we get a close one. Do we foretell here? It all depends on the mana. We have enough mana to counter two things, which we shouldn't need to do. So we will foretell. Two frickin' life. No creatures in the opponent's graveyard either, if we find Kling. Mm, yeah, you have six. All right, in the exile zone, there is a lot of lifelink, though. Like, a lot of lifelink. Oh, man. Did you top deck another removal spell? This time I'm ready. Wow. Back-to-back -back Myers Grasps from that position. Pretty unreal. Let's play this one from hand to make better use of our mana. And you know what I should have done? This was this is a pretty cool play. Um, what I should have done is behold the multiverse before I played that saw it coming. Because if I find a way to remove the Faceless Haven, I can do that this turn. I don't have to counter the Myers Grasp if I can remove the Haven. So a little bit of a oops on my part. That's more cards and life, potentially. Let's keep it. All right, I'm gonna take your Murderous Rider out of your Adventure Zone. I'm gonna take your Luris, and I'm gonna take your Hateful Eidolon. All lifelink all the time. Come on out. And we'll hold up a counter spell because I don't know what could go wrong from this position, but the answer is always whatever it is, they'll draw it. Don't scoop it 27 to 2. Come on now. Come on. All right, fine. That's a lot of sweepers against Yori, and that will not fly. <laughs> Shuffler, why you do this? Why are you so rude? Can I just mulligan three cards and not the whole... Anyway. Better. Get rid of the eliminate. Keep a whole bunch of land. Draw into some counters. Hopefully not draw into some sweepers. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, ultimatum. It's always tough. 
It, it is the matchup I want, but it's always tough. Let's get the card advantage on the board. I'm not worried about negating a Cultivate. Not when I can have my Tome. Encounter other things in the future. Although, uh, Elspeth's Nightmare is annoying, but how often do they just have that on turn three when they're 80 cards and they usually run one or two? All right, no black yet, but Cultivate fixes that. Never don't have a Cultivate. Good choice not to scry. And we pass. Let the grind begin. Hopefully they don't slam an Elder Gargaroth or something crazy like that. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I think we let it go so that we can draw cards and try to draw into another one. Yeah, we almost dodged it completely, but they caught us with a saw it coming in hand. Hey, eliminate. Thought I'd put you on the bottom. Um, all right. They know about these lands. May as well get this on the field. Pass the turn. Let the staring match commence. They'll probably buy Yorian and try to use it to draw out a counter spell. Palukranos. Yeah, that also is worthy. But now we can't counter the Yorian, which is unfortunate. Could slam the Ashiok, go for broke. Think that's a bit too aggressive for me. So we want to get up to enough mana to cling that thing. Okay, they're going to go for this. Next turn, they can buy Yorian and cast it. Do we care? I think we just take our card here. But we can make that decision first. And yep, good. Agonizing Remorse. Do we make a shark? Nice, that'll hit the Orion now. Um, yeah, let's make a shark. I don't expect this shark or any size shark to go the distance. They'll have removal, so we may, like, making a smaller one is acceptable. Surprise them with the Remorse. Take the Yorian. Leave him with the Lady of the Hour, Professor Onyx. That can be negated. We're also not going to counter their um, All Runs Epiphany. That's fine too. We'll deal with the birds. Uh-oh, the manual taps are coming. And they top deck the Haven, that's fine. And Professor Onyx gets, I think, negated? I don't have a good way to deal with her otherwise, so yeah. Ashiok time, Ashiok time. I think it's Ashiok time. Uh, they have a long way to go on the Pelucranos, so yeah. Let's hope that they don't top deck. This is the part where our 60 card deck didn't draw another counter spell. Let's see if their 80 card deck draws another Haymaker. They do get two looks. They do get two looks. It's true. Okay, they get four looks. Maybe I didn't play myself into the best position. Maybe a cling there to try to draw a counterspell was smarter. Must be nice. Well, the Seagate Restoration isn't really on the table. 
They don't have enough cards. They can go for Valky Vorinclex. I mean, that's just game if they hit it, so I can't give that to them. So you get the Vorinclex and the Epiphany. And you have to top deck again. Because I got the sweepers. And I don't think they can kill me. Yeah, they're going to attack the Ashiok. Take the block while we can. <laughs> Another ultimatum, sucker. Taste it, 80 cards. You should stack your deck. <laughs> Shuffle the ultimatum straight to the top. We'll see about that. Down to 10, Ashiaklis. Yep. Lean into this sweeper. Do it. Do it. So I think I need to Shadow's Verdict and Heartless Act because I still need to deal with Pelucranos. It's getting close to happening. I can't Shadow's Verdict and Heartless Act. I don't have the mana. But we are at six. I could leave the Pelucranos on the field. Or I could Heartless Act the Vorinclex, make a 2 2, sweep the turn after. Or I could exile the Pelucranos. How much is this? Six other cards. We aren't quite there until I kill the Vorinclex. It's really bad, though, if the Pelucanos comes back. So they just need something that goes to the graveyard next turn. I think I like Cling to Dust the Pelucanos. Heartless Act the Vorinclex. Do I lose then to an All Runs Epiphany? I do. But it's better than losing for sure to a Pelucanos. Because I don't have a good answer to it. Don't distract me with your love. Actually, they still have to get a card in the graveyard. Maybe I just make them figure that part out. And they also have to have a lot of mana. But I don't want to lose to an Epiphany. I think that's more likely than them finding a way to just throw a card in their bin here. And have the mana left over, right? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that won't do. Six is not seven. Six is not seven. Yep. Here's your little wolfie. Think we can go ahead and eliminate that. All right, go to work, Kling. Let's go. You got a lot, a lot of work to do for me. There's a Triome, okay. That last turn would have been enough. Oh man, oh man, dodged a bullet. Didn't really think about a Triome, should have. Should have thought about a Triome. No question. If I slam the Shark Typhoon, they'll draw Binding, right? Oh my god, two to the top. We lose. <laughs> it's over. Oh, okay. It's it's just a chariot. Just a, it's a little chariot. And they've got something else on top. That's not good. Let's play this and see if they go for it. I would prefer to Heartless Act that Chariot, Shadows Verdict those cats. Yep.
What if we ambush it with a big shark? They have these... Well, we just end up sweeping it away. Because we have to deal with the cats. So, what else did you keep on top? Coma. Coma's pretty good. Coma's pretty good. Alright, so what do we need for Coma? Uh, Heartless Act off the top can do. Um, extinction Event. Let's put a stop here. So, uh, we definitely want to make a shark, right? Actually, hold on. Like, resol the resolve isn't what I meant to click, but it's fine. Nice, nice draw, by the way. All right, let's get this. Cycle all this. We gotta, we gotta find a way to kill this. And we gotta have it on our upkeep before the other critter comes in. So, pay zero, confirm zero. Cringe. Another verdict. Doesn't really help us. A lot of micro decisions in this game. Probably a lot of mistakes. Going right down to not foretelling saw it coming on turn two and getting it hit by Palaka pred predation for no reason. Would have made a huge difference. But the comas are here to beat the hate. They're not here to mess around. But our draw has turned really sour. Like absurdly sour. It's gotta be Heartless Act. Okay, we don't die to the coils. It's not over. Coma down. Let's see how many good cards you managed to draw in the last two turns while I was dealing with the coma. Because that's usually not always what kills you. Often it's what happened while you were figuring out how to deal with coma. Okay. Four cards in grave. How do we get that up? I don't know. Jesus. This has been really bad, but we're we're fighting. One life. Let's go. So this will put the Mystical Dispute in the graveyard, which means we can flash back the Cling to Dust and get off of one life if we want. Or draw some freaking cards, which is more likely. The Tome gets us off one life as well. So did you top deck an ultimatum in that window? Cultivate. Okay. We're almost to the point where we have enough mana to start charging up this Barrens and getting busy. I know, one life and drawing cards. Just dead potentially doing all runs epiphany, but we're gonna go up. We're gonna go up because of the tome. And on that note, let's set it up so we can. <laughs> Another event. Do they have another binding? Binding is definitely one of the cards that could be in their hand at this moment. Let's pass. Goodbye, Kling. You did good work. You were a good soldier. That'll be four. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Cling into a cling, huh? Field of Ruin? Have they played their Valky? No, it's still in their deck. We can go after the red source. Saw it coming. Not gonna waste any time on the foretell here. Now if they draw their Valky, they can't cast it. Or they have to cast the Valky, not the Tybalt. Which could be a big thing. That could matter a lot. Wolf Willow Haven, yes. Yep. The wolf is gonna be the wolf is gonna run. Run free. Let's start the charge. That's a good draw. We have 27 cards in our deck, so still a lot of work we can do. They have 42 with a couple big hitters. Here best the Sea God, still hanging out somewhere. All runs Epiphany at five life. It's living dangerously to let this resolve. Let's let's not. Can we not? They're also apparent. It, it looks a lot like my deck. Like the build that I put out. We know they're a fan. They use the heart. So they might have Mystical Dispute in here somewhere. It's a good attack because if I block, they can Shadow's Verdict. Three, three. No, four, four. Gobble up that wolf. CGB Shark Tokens, coolstofink.com. Promo code CGB5. All right, so they don't have Heartless Act open. They only have one mana anyway. Let's send our first, let's fire our first shot with the Barons. Tome, 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 tome. Man, the books have done work. All right, you do have a binding. Let's go. Let's just take our card and let them have the binding. It's a good card. All right, we just need another turn cycle, and I think we've got the cards to do it. Can't believe we might have gotten through that coma. No foretell here, just gonna hold and keep all this mana available for all kinds of things. Because we might be able to also bring back Kling this turn. Tome, okay? I can't believe we fought that coma. I thought we were dead right there, and so did you. Admit it. Admit it in comments. You thought we were dead. Now I think we're alive. But I don't want to miss anything. Game? <sighs> Send some love. Oh, man. Tough game. Tough game. Well fought. Ugh. Ugh. All right, now we get a top 100. Mythic Gamer. Not a good draw. Not a good draw. They'll be playing aggro. We're not going to have time for Agonizing Remorse. So I think we put it away. But this is really bad. We're relying on Tome to do all of the work. And then we need Shadow's Verdict to finish the job.
Well, if we're against white life, Shadow's Verdict is often just a knockout blow against them, so we can hope that's the case. If we're against Winota, Disdainful Stroke can hit it. Okay, it is life. We're gonna have to find two black sources and curve out beautifully. Holy crap. The only reason we're in this game is we were on the play. Of course, on the draw, I couldn't keep this hand anyway. All right, they won't be able to play anything into a Disdainful Stroke next turn, so let's play another Tome and really turn on the Scries. I don't think they can trigger these next turn, which means as long as we find another Black Source with all these Scries, we should be able to get to a Verdict before we're destroyed. And they're stuck on two land, potentially. <laughs> it's such a bad hand, but for the matchup we drew, it might be the perfect hand. There's a black source. Let's hide it. Don't reveal it. Keep it secret. You know what you know you want to say it. Say it. Say it. Keep it safe. They found the third land. Oh my gosh, if they have Elite Spellbinder, I'm going to cry. So much. <laughs> don't you elite don't you elite me. Okay, okay, sure. The target is one of these tomes. All right, the one, they both have one counter on it, so it's fine. Let's draw. Oh, should have done that in response, I guess. Nah, this is fine. I'd rather have the body. I wouldn't change it, but I should have thought about it. Twenty-seven. That magic number. That magic number. And here come the angels flocking. Do angels... Are angels a flock? No, it's a chorus of angels. Right? Right. A host of angels? I don't know. Not my expertise. You know what my expertise is? Killing them all. So, let's try again. In Skyclave Apparition coming for this tome. How dare you take on my tomes? We'll keep Eliminate. Feels good. I'm the beatdown. Don't know if you knew. Let's get him off that 27 life. Start the slow march to victory. Am I counting my chickens before they hatch? Little. Sure. We can name Odd and get them both. Also lets us make a shark. Sky Maul. Okay. Well, forget the extinction event. Let's just do this now. We can probably get the opponent to spend their turn putting the Sky Maul on the bounty. Yay, Tome! Go, Tome! Once they suit up the bounty, we'll worry about how to kill it. Let's scry. See what we see. Yeah, I need more land. Uh, let's go ahead and draw that. This is basically a game four draw card, which is 
plenty good in our situation. That's pretty good too. I know, extinction event on one nymph, but it was going to destroy us. It had our number. Anybody else think this music, like, it was so nice at first. Now I'm like, it's too calm. Way too calm. I am way too chill. Like, I, I, am, I am locked in glorious combat, and this music is so chill. Alright, I'm just gonna cycle this now. Another Luris. Okay. Doesn't have a target in the graveyard, thank goodness. There still could be a four drop in this deck. They could run the Brood Moth, they could run the Legion Angel. Let's keep the Disdainful Stroke available. Okay. Creature after creature after creature. All right, are they still in this game? Don't ever count Mono White out. We still haven't drawn a good solution to this Sky Mall. Ashiok. What up, buddy? So if we play the Ashiok and we minus it on one of these, the Sky Mall suits up and attacks the Ashiok, which isn't particularly good. So how do we... How do we get where we need to go on this? We bounce the Sky Mall, they can exile this card and replay it. How do we get them down to no cards? I guess we don't. So I do just have to play this and hit, I guess, the Aspirant because it costs more mana? No, the Speaker because it costs more mana. It costs. Ugh, I don't know. I think it's the speaker. But we'll see. Maybe it was the Aspirant because they can't play Aspirant and equip Sky Maul in the same turn. Recoil to the recess of your mind. And we can try to... Oh, the lifelink is a good reason. Because this way we can try to keep pressure on them. By the way, they kept the last card. So whatever it is, it's good enough. Yeah, we can try to tempo them here. We have a two-turn clock. We have Crawling Barons. We have two Illusions. They don't have life gain. That's why we picked the Speaker. I knew it was right. I just didn't know why. Come on, Disdainful Stroke. Hit something. We've drawn a lot of land down the stretch. I never should have kept that uh, Triome on top. Okay, it's just a blocker. Counter, okay, does it attack? Wow, feisty. That's not a two turn clock for our opponent. They've got to stop attacking before we do. So what are they doing? Also dead to a removal spell, we don't have it. Forced block here. And now they need three blockers to survive. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. They can't attack with this now. Another Sky Maul is lethal, though. <gasps> and they needed the third land. Without the third land. They needed the third land. They, they top-decked either the Sky Mall or the land. They needed both. They did it perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh my lord. I'm sure there's something I could have done better in that game. 
go ahead and let me know in the comments if you want to. And if you want stats, check out untapped.gg. Uh, the, the deck list link will take you to a profile page where you can find statistics on how the deck performed overall. And I really like it. I highly recommend it. Demir Control, always one of my favorites. I prefer the Yorian version. I think that that shouldn't surprise anybody. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You made it till the end. You know what that means. You're cool.